Hi friends, our generation has been said to be the throwaway generation. That if something is spoiled, just throw it away and get a new one. After all, the cost of fixing can be so high that you might as well get a new and better one. And this golden rule applies to anything from handbags to phones to washing machines. And may I suggest that the reason that we think this way is because of our society's impulse to gain the highest possible benefit at the lowest possible cost. And this kind of wisdom is ingrained in our world and ingrained in us. Well, I find it quite interesting that God doesn't think the way we do. In fact, He pays a high, high price to mend something broken rather than to throw it away for something better. When Jesus began His ministry, He announced it in a synagogue in Nazareth as captured for us in Luke chapter 4, verses 16 to 21. He was reading from Isaiah 61, a chapter that describes what the Messiah was anointed to do. And let me read a portion of this chapter for you here. It says like this of the Messiah, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of His splendor. Friends, we see here that the Messiah goes out to the poor to give them good news. He nurtures broken hearts back to life. He goes to the captives to set them free. He goes to those who mourn to bring them comfort. He goes to those darkened with sorrow and grief to give them a beautiful crown. He goes to those who despair and clothes them with rejoicing. And when His work in these people is done, they will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of His splendor. My friends, do you remember when we were once poor, in despair, broken-hearted and sorrowful, and Jesus gave us a new lease of life? Do you recall how He searched for us and found us, binding up our wounds and setting us free from the things that trapped us? God chooses to mend the broken to display His splendor. This is so unlike us, isn't it? For we love to display our splendor with the brand new things we bought as we throw away the old things too expensive to fix. No one displays a mended handbag or a mended phone and parades it around, right? But God displays His splendor with old things made alive and made right again. He chooses them, washes them, nurtures them and makes them alive again. And these same people would eventually be called Oaks of Righteousness. You see friends, God is not only in the business of making things new, He is in the business of setting things right and the price He pays in full. Friends, our throwaway mindset has brought detrimental impacts to the environment, overloading our landfills, poisoning rivers and seas and killing animals the very things God entrusted to humanity to manage. Our throwaway mindset has also caused broken fellowship and strings of broken hearts. May I suggest that our throwaway mindset reduces the value of God's creation, brings division and reduces the dignity of human life. Friends, what are our attitudes toward broken relationships, broken people, our own broken selves? Are we merciful builders or are we demanding consumers? 
Friends, would we be people of the Messiah, joining Him to mend and rebuild that which is broken and seek that which is lost? Let us pray together. Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, we have sinned in the way we walk on this earth, seeking our own immediate pleasures and thrills and shirking our responsibility to bear your image. Help us, Lord, to stop being demanding consumers. Teach us to be merciful builders and restorers in Jesus' name. Amen.